talk a little bit about the fall migration oh. and you know what happens. And we also had a question yes. that people were asking, like, what should I feed my birds yeah. in the fall? Yeah, well, the hummingbirds aren't the only thing moving south. Mm -hmm. All the birds in the north here, uh, northern United States, Canada, who are predominantly insect eaters, like hummingbirds, have to move south because there's not so many insects up here in the winter. There's some, but not many. So they move south. A lot of our birds stay here. I mean, blue jays don't have to migrate. They eat everything. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of birds don't. So you see a lot of birds around your house, but some of them disappeared, especially the warblers and all that you see up in the trees that don't come to feeders a lot. Yeah. They're moving south, and the hummingbirds are moving south. And uh, so what do you feed this time of year? Well, for the birds that stay around your feeders, nothing's really changing. So your chickadees and titmice and nuthatches and blue jays and all these types of birds are still around and still be around, so just keep feeding the same thing. I do tend to put a little more uh, mixtures with more pure sunflower meats out in the mm -hmm. wintertime, and I tend to put more suet out, especially the little suet kibbles and the softer suets that uh, it, for the wintertime, uh, the cold hot meats suets is a great uh, thing to put out there, and the other three suets. All the suet products are really good because it's high energy and the birds love it, especially in the wintertime. They need that fat to yeah. keep themselves warm. Yeah. So those are all good things to do. But basically, it's not a lot of difference. Uh, you're not feeding so much the birds that are migrating. Anyhow, most of those are eating your insects. Mm -hmm. So you're good to pretty much stay the same thing. Just keep everything out there. Keep it well provided for them in the wintertime because that's when they really need it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, right now, they probably have a lot that they're able to eat, right? Yeah. There's a thing I call fall slowdown. Right. And I used to get a lot of calls. Yeah. Still do about, oh my goodness, what happened to my birds? What am yeah. I doing wrong? Here it is, September, October, I don't have any birds. Right. Did they starve to death? Did they all fly away? No. There's an, it's, it's harvest time. When we look at tradition harvest time for us, when all our crops are coming in and getting ripe, guess what? Mm -hmm. So are all the weeds out there and all yeah. the flowers. They're getting ripe and producing all these seeds, and there's a lot of spiders and all the insects at, at their maximum population levels. So it's a cornucopia of great food for all the birds right. out there. They don't need the food at the feeder as much as they were needing right. it. They are foraging out there and getting all this natural food as abundant. And... You'll see that change now slowly, mm -hmm. but you're going to have to wait until you get well end of December, maybe January, when you get more cold weather, and then you'll see a lot of these birds really depending on their feeders. Don't despair. They'll be back. <laughs> keep the food out there and keep it fresh for them. Hello, this is Richard Cole. I want to thank each of you for watching, and I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to share it.